motherfucking yeah. copycat. Fuck your ambiance. They call me lots. High locks. Kinches that you fucking with me, probably not. Probably what is going on guys, my name is Max and welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create advanced splines in Cinema 4D. So you might know some splines like these uh, from the Shadow Spline Pack. I want to quickly show you what I just created I want to show you today. So these are the splines we're going to do today. Um, pretty easy to do, so let's jump right into it. Um, at first you're going to need some sweep nerfs and circle uh, I'm gonna duplicate these put them into the sweep nerfs on the first circle you put this on 5 centimeter and um, the second one you put on 190 so now we animate the sweep nerfs um, so now you go on 0 frames keyframes and make a keyframe on both how to make a keyframe you click like hold control on your keyboard and click the small circle here now you go on 100 keyframes and make the end on 100 percent go on 130 keyframes and put the start on 100 so now uh, we've got this okay now you're gonna duplicate this twice um, the circle of the second one uh, we're gonna make it bigger by 30 centimeters so this is going to be from 190 on 220 and the third one is going to be on 250 what this looks like is this okay now we click the second sweep nerfs these are the first and these are the second um, we go in five frames and drag the first frame keyframe here and on the second one, or like the third one, whatever, we're going to do like drag the keyframe to 10 frames. What this does is that uh, the start of them is delayed, like you can see here. So now this looks like this: start uh, the delay, uh, the start is delayed, and the end is like synchronized. Okay, what we're going to do next? Um, you're gonna just close them and like mark them all and hold alt g on your keyboard which makes a null object i'm going to rename this to 1 so now you copy this paste it i'm going to rename to 2 and um what we're going to do click the second one like the null object and you're going to move this um you're going to move these two things on 180 just type it in like this and we've got this now looks pretty cool right so now we're gonna duplicate the second one rename it to three and uh, now we go into it and the circle the second one we need to uh, change the sizes again so we just make it bigger by th 15 centimeters this would be 205 now this would be on 235 now and this would be on 265 now. So now, um, we've got this, uh, but this is not finished, so we click the 3 and we're going to rotate it uh, here, like the second one, this one we put on 0. So now we've got uh, this. Okay, so now we duplicate the one, copy and paste it, rename to four, and um, same like we did before, we go on the uh, circle, put this on 205, this on 235, and this on 265. Okay, now we click the four again, and we're just gonna put this up on 180. Okay, so now we're finished. Our animation is done, and these are our self made splines, like in the Shadow Spline Pack. Okay, so thank you for watching. If I could help you, just leave a like and maybe a comment. And yeah, so I might do other tutorials 
and maybe release a spline pack when it's finished. But yeah, it's going to be free by the way. So yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial and goodbye.